There's been a massive uptake in Australia of e-cigarettes. They are replacing um, tobacco smoking, but it's just another form of nicotine and people are getting addicted and there'll be a lot of problems later on. We were interested in looking at people who have never smoked tobacco before, who have taken up e-cigarettes and then transitioned into tobacco smoking. 13% of people who take up e-cigarettes move into tobacco smoking, so that translates to over 110,000 Australians. What we wanted to understand was the financial cost to the healthcare system. So we estimated the cost to be $180 million per year. The majority of those costs are for respiratory diseases, followed by cancers and then cardiac disease. This research proves how expensive it's going to be if we don't um, crack down on vaping. So this is the first Australian research that has put a number on what that cost could look like. It is quite an alarming figure, but the positive thing is that action is being taken by the government now. This research definitely has come at a critical time um, and adds weight to the decision that the government has made uh, and Lung Foundation absolutely supports um, the decision. There is a, a bit of a misconception that vaping use is safe. Vapes actually contain a myriad of different chemicals that can damage lungs, can cause um, seizures and a range of other significant impacts on the body. The long-term effects um, remain to still be seen, but the short-term effects can be quite significant. They are trendy um, and young people um, have really taken to them. It's another tactic by the tobacco industry to get young people starting uh, tobacco um, uh, smoking again, so it's another generation coming through. We have the toughest vaping laws now in the world, so it's a very, it's a very strong stance that the government is making. We just need to follow through with it and make sure that it is stamped out.